you, my friend. Come on, internet. All right, cool. Looks like the stream is off. Hey, everybody. Awesome. Had a little bit of technical difficulties there, but let us know if everything sounds okay. We should be good to go. Uh, hi, I'm Ray. I'm the producer on Gelsip 3, and I'm hosting the show today, talking to Scott. Yeah. Doing <laughs> I'm just so excited. I am. I'm just it. excited. I'm excited to have you back. Yeah, I'm back. Adam actually, makes fun of me. Really? So, well, why? You make fun of me, but I don't make fun of you. You're the nicest person I've ever met in my life. These are facts. Adam, <laughs> he teases me. I'm trying to talk uh, and give interesting information, and that uh, hampers my ability to play a, a solid game. Well, and those he lets are me know. those are very elo eloquently placed words. That's and awesome. So, Scott, for those people that may not know and just stop by, uh, what are some of the things you do for Sorcerer King? Uh, on Sorcerer King, I, um, I do coding, art, and design, whatever, whatever holes need filled, basically. So right now I'm working on uh, implementing the uh, tree for this guy. He's named Warlord, but um, we're, naming, re we're renaming him Commander. But basically the fifth uh, Sovereign. We're hoping to get them in uh, the next upcoming beta, but I don't I don't know if uh, we'll have enough iteration time. Basically, um, doing data hookup and doing code hookup, and then uh, particles if possible, and whatever else, whatever they need me to do. Cool. Um, just checking the audio. Everything seems fine right now. Um, I turned it up a bit, so hopefully that'll come through a little bit clearer. So, what is in store today? Today, we get to show off the priest tree. Um, and I think we should rename that priestess, because uh, it's a lady. I don't know uh, the official Ooh, I found more buttons. One second, Scott. Okay. I, I found more buttons. Hold on, everybody. I'm going to attempt science. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It should be louder now. Hopefully not too loud. I apologize. I'll speak up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Usually, see, at Stardock, we're not known for the quiet yeah. ones. Usually, you don't walk around and be like, all right. Oh, we just got to be quieter. <laughs> Here we let's go. Let's talk. Okay, so Boom. we'll show, let's show off the priest tree today. Um, this will definitely be in the upcoming beta three, which is scheduled for uh, sometime before our Christmas break. Um, Christmas break for us starts uh, the 19th, I think, is our last day. So, anyways, sometime in the next three weeks, you guys will be getting a hot, juicy beta with the priest, um, who is super awesome. Cool. Uh, I guess I could talk about the priest. That would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, the tree, um, the, the priest tree is kind of interesting because uh, we gave that sovereign a, uh, a new divine. Um, I'm sorry, it's not... Uh, what is that called? Uh, Destiny's Destiny's favor. Uh, basically, that is a dis a divine uh, favor stat. You only get a handful of these throughout the game through going up your uh, skill tree, and these give you the opportunity to you know call in a, a divine favor and uh, do some world changing things. But you only get to do like five of them in the course of a game. Okay. Um, so you know some of the some of their other skills are weakened but you can come you know you can say a prayer to the heavens and basically unleash um you know terror from above or whatever needs to happen with those uh with those resources and she starts off with the the mage uh, which got a little bit of love his tree wasn't fully working i don't think but let's okay start a game um so there's quite a been quite a bit additions since the last oh, time I was on here. Oh, uh, there's yeah, yeah, so much has gone gone in. Um, lots of little stuff, but lots of lots of big stuff as well. Cool. Uh, random maps, probably one of the biggest things to go in for awesome. beta three. Random um, maps, really? Yes. That's no, uh, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm that, that's how excited yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm catching up. I'm catching up with everybody else. Yeah. yeah. The um, yeah. I mean, you're with me where. When when you're in the thick of it, and you're working on these maps, and you see the layout. It's really hard uh, for me, at least, to sit down and, and fully enjoy what the game experience is supposed to be. But now with random maps, um, you know every single game world is different. We can have a lot of fun with yeah uh, that randomness and that's really cool. That really shakes it up. Yeah, the exploration part of a four X isn't as exciting when you know the lay of the land. So yeah, uh, let's start off with a small map. Uh, and I won't play with anything else. Pretty quick load times there too. Nice. Yeah, they're they're pretty snappy. I'm really happy with uh, 
that kind of stuff. I love this intro. Okay. This guy's still talking to me. I've seen you too many times, my friend. Um, <laughs> I've seen you too many times. Yeah. Uh, one thing that came up really early, like beta one, people are talking about uh, the pre-made maps all felt very lush and very green, and you can already start to see, um, you know, the the devastation that you're kind of uh, you're kind of working through in the world. Um, thematically, lush green world doesn't work when the whole story is, you know, the big big bad just won. So. Uh, let's let's go do some exploration. I will I will get this. See if Adam was here, he would have teased me for not getting this. So now I know, because of Adam, his tough love. Have you ever done that? I I don't know how often you play Sorcerer King, but sometimes I always forget this uh, this shard. Oh yeah. We've talked about. Uh, you know, it's really hard because you really want the player to learn. Okay, you have to click on. Uh, the resource and then go down there and press the build button to you know it's it's an introduction to the system yeah uh, but at the same time it's a kind of a noob trap if you forget then five turns down the line you're going oh crap i just missed out on five turns worth of uh worth worth of magic points so let's so you're sending out. troops out right now is there anything in particular you're looking for as you're sending um, those troops out still uh right now treasure chests still hold loot um we got quests. We're gonna. I believe that we're gonna get be getting a lot of new quests in. We've had some uh, great participation and help from the community. So thank you, anybody who's uh, helped Brad out. Um, I know that he's kind of spearheading some community involvement with getting the quest soak up, because Buckles is our writer has just churned out so many quests, and um, and we're kind of in the thick of implementing all these all this data and all these systems that we haven't been able to do a second pass on hookup um so some new quests will definitely be very welcome and thanks again to everybody for helping out there cool uh let's do a pioneer i look at the, this is actually really nice i'm i'm not feeling the pinch i can kind of go and explore at my own pace there's and a question in the chat actually um uh let's see Oh, they had mentioned that um, they're really they're checking out the game right now, and they're really getting a feeling of um, Mistborn. Have you heard of that game by chance? And they're oh. asking if that was inspiration for this no, title. I haven't heard of that game. Um, okay, I'll have to look it up. Is it is it a four X, like a four X RPG? Or I guess we'll get that answer in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tops um, and make sure to yeah, type tell in the us chat. more about it because I always like uh, seeing what what else is out there. We're a big fan of games around here. What? It's true. <laughs> We've been known to have parties and whatnot. That's right. Why aren't you crafting? Okay, so here's the uh, dungeon master getting a little... Getting a little wordy. Getting a getting little, little sassy. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Is that what you you guys are into that? So tricking, like, why aren't you crafting? Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, so... That's fine. <laughs> and that's because I can craft, so... I guess I deserved it. Um, I guess I deserved that. I should be crafting. Uh, That's cool. One thing that uh, I don't know if it's in the newest builds. Maybe you guys already have it, but uh, the the weapons and the recipes that you start off with are now uh, more tailored to the sovereign that you start off with and the hero that you begin with. So here I have the mage. So instead of having a useless uh, a useless sword as my first weapon, I actually get a useful staff that i can craft i can um set that you know dangle the carrot of uh here's a cool weapon to upgrade your your guy to uh, minor man uh, i don't need that okay yeah that's another thing that's in the work down works downstairs is the uh new in uh, crafting and enchantment system where you'll be able to uh kind of customize the the stuff that you craft it's it's looking really cool I don't know how much Brad has talked about them yet. I'm not going to talk about that yet. Okay. I don't. Keep I don't want to. Well, we're here to the showcase the priest, correct? Yeah, that's right. So why am I going there? Yeah. So okay. keep it on the straight line. Yeah. So let's, well, like, let's go to sovereign details so we can kind of see what's going on here. There we go. And you mentioned um, too the priest. Oh, so lines are going is there any there. kind of particular maybe like deity or anything they're looking towards? Is, is there religion in? I no, uh, not like not like other games. Not, okay. I mean, this isn't like civilization where you're trying to spread your, you know, you can spread your specific religion. Right. It's okay. just more of a. Uh, 
okay, he's the healer. He's he's the guy who relies on prayer and higher power to okay. uh, uh, kind of see his people through. Uh, well, that's cool. That's something different. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be. Um, I think that it'll be kind of the the end up being the turtlers uh, choice. Okay. Where you can kind of play a slower game. Um, you know, if you're in a, a clutch situation, you can use those divine, uh, the destiny's favors point, points to you know help you out and just take out tons of enemies if if you're just feeling overwhelmed. Um, bump back that doomsday stuff like that. Okay, so it's definitely with each of these you feel that um you'd mentioned this is like the turtler's choice so have you kind of felt out the different strategies of the game and then you can play as a different one to give you your different um, kind of strategy I, yeah i so every yeah every so players can feel like they can play out their strategy so you've got like yeah. you know the warrior type that may go in bruntly very quickly yeah obviously. so yeah That's so cool. the warrior he's all about um you know his tree is all about getting special abilities on your units and um beefing up your army lots of logistics points uh, huge armies. Um, the priests, I don't even know if they're going to be able to get to max army size. Mm-hmm. You know, they may only uh, at max be able to have 10 units in an army, uh, which limits their military side, but obviously they have more options in the, the defensive and, um, you know, out of, uh, out of left field uh, divine intervention. So let's see. So I'll talk this through a little bit. Um, yeah, I decided I didn't. Oh, now I can make a healing potion. I am not going to do that. Let's see what spells I have nowadays. You start off with more spells. We're kind of going back and forth on what spells you should start off with. Um, you know, what common ones you should start off with and what uh, what unique ones. So I actually start with a healing spell. Um, since I'm the priest, you know, he's all about uh, healing and sort of thing so i will and i still haven't run into any enemies i kind of like that i'm a turtler so this this guy's actually perfect oh i see how it is (laughs) (laughs) oh and this okay and so this actually isn't a guy this is somebody i can talk to oh we actually have a really good question from the chat asking um let's see i just had any moved okay uh any chance players will get the chance to choose how to deploy units in command or in combat oh like the the setup the um the initial starting location yeah oh we've talked about it um a lot of it comes down to you know time spent there is time like I mean, when I, they, when our concern, our concern is that when we when we play it through, when we do a paper kind of paper prototype it out, and we really talk it through, it doesn't add as much as as you would expect. Right. Um, you can. It, it feels nice. Like it feels nice to be able to. Okay, I'm going to surround this guy. I got this weak unit. I'm going to surround him with my defensive units. Right. But that ends up. Um, that kind of that encourages the player to not move. Yeah. You know, you set up this pristine yeah, yeah. Uh, gauntlet of guys, and then you end up, um, or our concern is that you would just end up, you know, space bar, space bar, space bar, until the guy comes and has to deal with this, this setup. This smart, so yeah. we would rather the choices not be, um, you know, and how the units are, are set up. You know, their positioning um, after a couple of moves is going to matter. But if their position uh, right off the bat matters too much, then, like I said, it kind of encourages a sit back and wait uh, mentality, and that's just no fun. Right. You know, it's it's not a fun game if um, the best way to win is also boring. Uh, you don't want the the proper the proper method of play to be be cheesy. Yeah. So. And I can see that too. That's only from an outside view of like. See, I'm not there with you on the day to day, but I can see that from the outside view. Is it worth it? You know, adding that little bit of extra control for slowing the game down. Yeah, you know, like and, every and single it's, time. It's one of those things. It does sound really good. Like I would yeah. love to be able to bring some tank guys in, uh, <laughs> you know, surround my archers, surround my mages. Uh, but then the next step, obviously, is I mean, I guess you you move up a little bit at a time, but um, once once you start moving, you can kind of establish those formations in real time. Mm-hmm. Um, as well, and uh, a lot of the sovereigns have um, 
have boosts to who goes first, like the commander. Uh, one of his abilities, one of the abilities that he's un he unlocks is that you uh, your guys always go first. Um, so you always end up um, getting a full set of moves before your opponent. Uh, so in in that way, you know that that ability right there is kind of a that establishment phase, that that setup phase. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. Let, that's. I mean, yeah. we've we but we've definitely talked about it. We know. I think that's something that people have wanted in since War of Magic, and we keep going back and forth. Um, but um, there. I think that we have higher things on our priority list um, to uh, to take care of that we think will add more enjoyment yeah. to the battle system. Yeah. But that's great though. Sorcerer King still sounds to provide that though mm -hmm. via the abilities. So yeah, yeah that's very cool. Um. Yeah, actually, one of the things going in uh, downstairs right now are uh, the idea of rounds. Right now, there's no um, like round one round two like chunks of time time is all granular mm -hmm. you know you have that that long list of uh of units and it's a little bit hard to read and uh so, and cooldowns um if you have a a guy with high initiative your cooldowns aren't really as effective because you're zipping around the field um and and his cool and his uh things wear off quicker than a guy who's not so fast so it's um, so by introducing rounds, we can do a whole lot of neat things. Um, put in, uh, I think they've already talked about this, but I'll reiterate. The, um, the idea of, uh, so right now we have cooldowns on abilities. You can, see, this is, this is another thing Adam would tease me for. You can tease me. It makes me work harder. No, I just, no, not even the slightest. I am, I am a full Scott a... supporter. Um, actually, we had a pretty big influx of people stop by. Um, okay, hey, so everybody. I just wanted to take a second and say hi. Uh, I'm Ray. I'm actually just guest hosting. Um, I'm the producer on Gossip Three, and this is Scott. How's he's going? working design on Sorcerer King, so he's doing the day to day, checking out what you guys want. You know, getting yeah. your feedback and fill, seeing, seeing fill what's that, going uh, on. Fill that chat room with questions, and we'll yes. answer uh, whatever you got. That is always, always good to hear. Uh, so abilities, when you go into battle, um, we, we, have the, uh, we have the idea of cooldowns. So you have some sort of really awesome ability, uh, but you can't use it every single turn. You have to wait like 10 turns to use it again. And what we're um, going to be implementing is the idea of uh, charge-ups. So you go in and you can't necessarily use every single ability right off the bat. You have to... Uh, you have to wait a couple of turns. You have to survive long enough to make use of those death demon summons or, you know, hellfire from, from below or whatever whatever massive abilities we can think up. Uh, they won't become too overpowering by uh, pushing those to the end of the battle. Uh, so right now battles are a little bit front heavy. You do a lot of cool stuff and you're waiting for cooldowns to uh, expire or you've used all your uh, sovereign casts. And this way... Uh, there will be a lot of cool stuff to do at the beginning, but we can pepper it out. So uh, you get a little, you start unlocking things, and you can have a nice escalation of battle instead of a, um, you know, big bang right off the right off the bat. Cool. Um, so this is the priest, right? Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I think I opened this up and then I left. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's so go through some of those. Priest. Uh, priest does some cool stuff with with shards. Um, let's see, temples. They, so they get some uh, some different improvements that they can use, different spells that they unlock. Uh, Divine Insight and, let's see, where's Heaven's Might? These are some of the ones that are um, scattered throughout that give you more of that Destiny's Favor. Mm -hmm. So as you're going through, um, you know, you can either be unlocking new buildings or get some of those one-time use uh, resources. Let's see, Inquisition... Yeah, so you get you un end up unlocking uh, some cool cleric units. Um, Holy Wrath, unlocking uh, new prayers to to use, and then down here a lot of uh, some battle, uh, some army related stuff. You know, making your army uh, army size larger, which everybody kind of has those texts, but like I said, priest doesn't allow for armies uh, quite as large as the other. The other sovereigns. Oh, I see. I upgraded. So let's actually get. 
Let's get that def des what is that divine insight. And st and keep on going. What does divine insight provide? Uh, that's the resource that uh, you you use like one time. So you may end up getting like six units of divine insight in a given game. Okay. And that's the thing where you can uh, you can do big summons. You can um, you can do uh, strategic level uh, attacks on your enemy. Basically, wipe out this whole sector of uh, bad guys, or you know, destroy something really really big. Uh, destroy all. Uh, shadow units on the map or um, you know or uh, raise a, a lost city from the depths of the sea or all kinds of crazy stuff cool so what that right there was a pop-up to warn you what was going on oh yeah so for anybody who's uh, not familiar the sorcerer king is uh, sending his forces to attack these shards um, we just put in some codes so Besides uh, giving you magic points, if you have them, so if you have a shard tapped, if you have a temple built on that shard, then you start getting magic, which can be turned into three different things: mana. Uh, so mana is used to cast spells. Uh, lore, am I on the lore side? Uh, lore is used to research new spells, and then skill points are used to um, basically level up your sovereign, your your leader unit. And that's where that tree comes into play. Once you level up, then you get to pick a new skill here in the Sovereign Tree. Um, it kind of plays out a little bit like a, a 4X, uh, like a tech tree in most 4X games. But So those shards, um, you know, since it splits off in those different directions, um, those shards are vital to victory. Uh, the Sovereign, or the Sorcerer King, is always sending his units to destroy them. Uh, so you kind of have to set up your defenses and fight back and make sure you get the the shards before he does and then um oh that's what i was going to say different uh sovereigns do different things based on the number of shards that you have so okay. uh the priest i forget what the priest does the um the uh commander unit the more shards that you have the more xp your uh your units can get so they'll get you they'll get hp buffs based on the number of shards that you have out there and different guys do different things that's why the did you get to play as the tyrant yet no oh, actually so he um he gets boosts based on the doomsday so the bigger oh. the, the more doomsday points the more powerful he actually is <laughs> okay. um so that's kind of interesting because he he also has some things that um he has spells that can destroy shards for instant magic boosts Mm -hmm. uh, but he also has skills that rely on shards. So there's that uh, choice consequence of if I destroy too many shards, uh, I'll be weaker in some areas but stronger in the others. So a little bit of balance to work out on the tyrant side. But Okay, Darkling, I can take him. Uh, we have some uh, several new uh, battle maps. I don't know if the, I think this is a new one. Um, Lots of new props being made. I should be able to take this guy out pretty easy. Oh, wow. Oh, my so gosh. One. <laughs> that one. I wow. wanted to talk about that, but it was actually gone. So there's all, <laughs> you, had, um, you had propped a, a ridge basically right there. So it almost as if there was kind of a, a natural backer for your back line. That's uh, what it had, yeah, that's what me, it had kind of looked like. But yeah. it was you had, you had hit him in one shot, which was very unexpected. Sorry. I, I'll, I'll try to find better adversaries. <laughs> I'll try to find. Okay, so I got a couple of shards. The crystal mine would be nice to tap. I think I'll. I think I will do that. Uh, we had a great question from. Ooh, I want. I want the metal. From okay. Frog Attitude on the chat, asking, uh, "Will there be world events and boss appearing? Oh, and like, uh, bosses appearing randomly, like in uh, previous games." Previous the games. Uh, the bosses will be. Uh, the lieutenants basically so there are two uh, mid-level bosses there's the sorcerer king he's the the end boss and then the, the kind of the mid-level bosses are the two uh the two lieutenants that will appear appear as the game gets started so uh getting them getting their health down and fighting them and coming up with a, a good strategy to defeat them will be a big part of the mid game um and then what was the other one? Oh, the in uh 
mid-game events. Yeah. Uh, basically, the game's going to be filled with mid-game events. The uh, huge part of the game is the dungeon master. Um, it's it's kind of the backbone of the design. You have okay. uh, this big world that's uh, kind of living and reacting to you, and that's all driven through this dungeon master system. So, so yeah, events are always going to be popping up that you will have to deal with that will kind of uh, that can shift the world. Um, in different directions. If you're on a high difficulty, you can imagine things being thrown into the gears uh, that really disrupt how you play, and you have to work around them in interesting ways. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that does sound awesome. I noticed it too, that Oops. caravan's back. It's my favorite unit. Yeah, I think <laughs> we did finally get the donkey headbutt in. I believe you. I do. I try. I think it was like my second stream I tried to do the donkey headbutt. Yeah, it didn't work. It just felt so sad. Over. Yeah, it was that time. Um, a huge change has been uh, the number one um, outpost now costs logistics. So logistics are this resource that um, basically every unit, every uh, every resource that you tap, and every outpost that you build requires logistics. So it's a very it's very much a bottleneck um, resource that you have to be careful about how you spend it. So I'm gonna spend seven turns to uh, convert some of my food into logistics point gives gives me three logistics and I will keep collecting treasure chests I'm all about those treasure chests I yeah, like they're nice they're satisfying they have a little sound effect like mm. you're opening a treasure chest <laughs> are there um nice. are the treasure chests are they completely random with their contents no there are there's several different types and we want to have more and more okay um, right now they they tend to only give you our stuff for crafting, but we do want to change that, actually have some, some of the better uh, treasure chests give you completed items that you can then use and, and enchant using the new crafting system. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to add on to those things. So uh, there's there will be a lot of work done. I mean, across the board, there will be a lot of work done, but Goody Huts in particular will get... Um, We'll get a lot of additions and a lot of variety going forward. Doing so what's this cool thing you found here? Uh, I found some metal, and I found a sweet crystal. Yeah, 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 that's cool, but I'm talking about the big castle with the Ice Lord stuff. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> I think people in the chat kind of oh, would agree with me on that one. It's like the, That's the Ice Lord's castle. Let's do it. What do we do? Can we uh, fight him? We can talk to him. Let's or talk to him. We? Okay, so maybe you could tell a lot by me. That was my immediate thing. We should fight him. <laughs> I guess we could converse. We could <laughs> we could we could, we could talk about stuff. We could here. we could swap recipes. You know, yeah. see what they're cooking. Okay, so here I only have two logistics, and I'll be using one to tap the shard. Now I would only be at this point. I can only train one more unit. Um, so you can see where that that logistics limitation is huge, um, and maybe too crippling right now i don't know these numbers are something that get uh, heavily debated internally like starting with four or five logistics is mm -hmm. a huge battle you gotta state your case and here we go yeah, i haven't oh it looks like there's some uh some fertile land down here one thing we've talked about doing is uh, bringing down the sizes of maps. Mm -hmm. uh, tiny, like, when it takes four hours to beat a tiny map, it kind of feels a little too long. We'd really like to get tiny maps to be a one to two hour experience. So we're going to be playing with sizes, uh, the size of maps, to um, make it so that there, you, can, you can jump in and play a game a lot quicker than, um, you know, a four hour game isn't a tiny game. Uh, by our standards, so. yeah, something a little easier to jump in, jump out. Yeah, jump in, uh, see the see the breadth of the the gameplay, and then um, upgrade to a larger map when you're feeling a little more ballsy. See the um in the chat. That's a really good point. So is this uh, is this a standard game as far as the aggression of like the the mobs in the land? Because they were, they were talking about the wildlands and like how it would seem like you'd be constantly attacked. Is this is this pretty calm compared to <sighs> this what? This is really calm. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm not getting um. Yeah, I'm I'm actually surprised that they haven't been more aggressive. Uh, that's another thing that gets debated internally. Mm -hmm. Like, as a player, it's 
kind of nice to have uh, that lull in the beginning where it's all about exploration and establishing yourself. Um, if you if you turn up the heat too fast, it's just it feels like you're playing this uphill. You're fighting this uphill, uphill battle, battle the whole time. Oh yeah, and yeah. you really want to um, you know have those lulls, have those peaks and valleys in difficulty. Um, and so, right now it looks like I. Um, I'm having a really easy time, though this guy is really difficult. I'm not seeing much. So here's here's what I would say is the problem. I'm not seeing much cannon fodder. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to see a couple of lone bandits, some spiders, some easy prey out there to, uh, you know, to test my metal with, level yeah. up my guys a, a couple of times, and then be able to uh, to build up. Oh, good, I leveled up. Speaking of leveling up. I want a, a enchantment slot. Um, I'm gonna go down this way. It looks safer. There's a uh, there's green there. So, why do you feel it looks safer? Is it by the terrain that we're looking at right now? Yeah, How it's... exactly. Yeah. Okay. So this way, it's all uh, it's been pretty destroyed, well destroyed by the Sorcerer Kings. So down here, maybe um, maybe I'll find those easy picking enemies that I was looking for. Who are these guys? So we got uh, some darklings. Some stupid darklings. Okay. Oh, and they... They're ready to fight. Apparently. They, they have a combat rating <laughs> of 8 compared to your 17. And Is there a quick sen kind of synopsis of what that means? They're um, 8 to your 17. Are you just going to walk all over them in a few seconds here? We could even show them. I mean, we could just... Yeah. Um, the That battle ranking is the accumulation of all their stats, um, all their abilities... And uh, a bunch of a handful of other bonuses that they get. So we're okay. we're trying to condense it so those numbers give a pretty um, fair view of how strong, like just base strength. Yeah. Um, you know how mighty is this guy versus me? And then if one is bigger than the other, that guy's probably gonna win. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll I'll take these out guys out handedly. Yeah, he's one shotting those darklings. Oh, wow, yeah, real quick, I just was, wanted to say thank you to uh, Stormbringer for showing the support. They grabbed the game early access, and they're really excited oh, yeah. to uh, check it out. Cool. So thank Excellent. you. <laughs> thank, thank yeah, you. every yeah, we're so <laughs> excited to get people playing and, and giving feedback, and um, we're sorry about all the bugs. <laughs> Any bugs that you run into, we're really sorry, but hopefully um, – you know, you guys can feel like you're a part of the, the process. Well, helping us find them. You know, I mean, I know that SK must be very similar to Gal's in the sense that every bug that someone finds for us is very helpful. Oh, yeah. Very, very helpful. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're in pretty deep into the implementation. So, Arcane Shield. Oh, good. Keplin the Mage. Uh, still don't have images over here. Um, okay, so right now we're looking at... Your mage, the guy traveling sure. around, you found a few people, you, you killed a few people, so mm -hmm. now So after... now I'm leveling up. Uh, okay. So his tree, uh, we got we fixed a couple of bugs. He had some HP boosts and other various boosts that were um, multiplied by the number of shards. So those, those key resources, the shards that are on the map, as you uh, claim those, uh, both, the, both the priest sovereign and the mage that you start off with uh, get some really interesting uh, boosts because of them, making the shards even more tempting to go after and fight for. Uh, so I am... Oh, the mage. Also, the mage is really cool. Do you... I forget how much you know about the game. I, I'm I know still I'm learning quite a bit. Okay. Well, there's a lot of... You guys are doing a great job. You're doing a lot of changes, so I'm... You um, know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I'm being honest, uh, There's a lot of stuff has changed, so it's it's hard. So one of the really cool things about the mage is that they um, they have these, ch these channeling abilities. Okay. So the sovereign can only cast X number of spells in battle. Like, I think the clairvoyance tree tends to tap out at four, so at max, even a maxed out sovereign can only cast like four or five spells. Um, the mage, if he's in a battle and he's maxed out, he can go up the channeling tree and increase that number even more. So a battle where you have the mage, uh, you can have you can cast up to eight spells in battle. Uh, so you definitely want him in your your final battle against the sorcerer king. I'm gonna pick that because that's pretty awesome. 
Oh, and my Sovereign love. No, I love love. Healing Flame. Allows you to cast Healing Flame into a tactical battle. What does Healing Flame do? I don't know. We should state that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I guessing... I, I just helped. I'm Hi, I just helped. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just... You can... You can... <clears throat> You can assume that it heals, and it's fiery, but... It's a, it's a burn. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, burn and flame. I'm going to go up my army size. Okay. <laughs> so turn... Oh, now we got some other... Oh. See, I went... It looked like the right way to go. Yeah. No, it's okay. You're leveling up. What's wrong with that? <laughs> and we can see these cool battles. I love these battles. It's... Fear? Da, 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 da. Well, Shadow. I can't hear the music, but I bet it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's, it it's cool. These animations, though, just even like the Darkling's tail, I, I know it's a yeah, very, I it's loved, a oh, little I, thing. Our playing. animation, Ari and Daniel have done such a great job uh, giving life to these guys, and oh, it's like so they nice. are ready to pounce. You can yeah. tell. But he's like, not today. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> They're also ready to die. <laughs> also ready to die. Purge the alien. Yes, this is correct. Zoom, zoom, Avenger. That is correct. Purge them from the lands. Yeah. Cool. Oh, look, there's some new grass. Have you seen that grass before? That's really cool. Yeah, look at that grass. Flowers. <laughs> Zoom in on it. That's grass in real time. That's, that's, <laughs> every blade is rendered in real time. Handcrafted by I artists will, to an extreme measure. This, uh, this flower totally looks like a Legend of Zelda flower. I want to cut it and, like, get a rupee. <laughs> get a, you oh. like Zelda? I like... I'll bring it up every once in a while. I like Sorcerer King. I'm liking how this looks. Let's talk about other games that we love, though. <laughs> Let's talk about other. I actually, <laughs> every so often, I I'm playing Zelda with my daughter right now, so that's like hot in my. Cool. I'm enjoying, enjoying that, but yes, I'm enjoying Sorcerer King more. Well, I know the users I'm, are always curious about help seeing what we do outside of work. So I mean, yeah. that's that's awesome. It's when you that make happens. games, it's important to play games. Did you get asked that question when you got hired? I get asked that question pretty much every day. Yeah. What are you I get asked that question. You better be playing games. <laughs> yeah. Usually, <laughs> you, usually I'm on the forums, or if anybody, it's it's a oh, widely okay, yeah. it's a widely asked question. It's yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. And that's the best answer though, too. Yes, you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, these wow. Darkling battles are pretty easy. Yeah. Maybe too easy. Because I think that I've played uh, bandit battles that are that are harder than this. Right. Look at all these mofos. These guys should be over here because this is scary. Because this is scary. <laughs> be nice guys. Maybe they're they're branching out. Oh, so those little brave. icons, real quick. Um, what are they? Um, those indicate uh, land that I can settle on. Okay. So if I send a pioneer, oh, send a pioneer. Over yeah. Here. I hear you. Let's do it. Okay. I was uh, hinting at it. I didn't want to say. I, no, thanks for. Uh, <laughs> Let's get at it. Thanks for the, what is that, the softball question? <laughs> just lobbing it? Yeah, just lobbed it Hope right over. Hope you catch this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Going to so, take a uh, drink from my Stardot cup. Swiftness. Uh, now my, my mage will go a little bit faster based on the number of shards I have. I have two shards, so he should go pretty fast. I don't want to fight these guys. So 13 to our 17. Okay, so let's test. Let's do it. Let's test the numbers. I believe in let's you. do it. Priest mode, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're calling this. Mage priest. Oh. Combo. Uh, here's a fun bug. We got... Uh, we got uh, attachment points working, so mages and... Basically, all the heroes, as you craft their items, they're going to swap out to different modeled uh, weapons, like mm -hmm. most RPGs do. Um, but when we did that, uh, some r some old data was in there. So these guys currently have like a, a double double silver bow. Uh, fun fact: that looks awesome to me. So just <laughs> I ship think it. that looks great. <laughs> that is a bug, Ray. All I heard was blah blah blah. Those look cool. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> anybody else see that in the chat? I think those are cool. There, we we actually had some situations where like there'd be triple weapons on there, and they looked. Pretty awesome. Looked awesome. Yeah, they I really think, did. <laughs> I think that's what's awesome. <laughs> when you keep in mind the facts, facts of the matter is that looks cool. I'm gonna spot spear arrow staff you. I'm excited. Okay, so so this guy got to go first. Let's see if there's anything. 
<laughs> I want to hit all these guys because there's a lot of them. So let's see if I have anything to do that with. No, 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 no attacks. Adding those little tr those little items on the train just really bring this game to life. Yeah, the more uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing a lot of work on the battlefields. Uh, mm -hmm. So hopefully over the next couple of releases, you'll see you'll just see them really come to life and. Um, yeah, it was always so lame, especially in Quest, where, like, you see two ogres at the bottom of a deep pit in, you know, the the dank dungeon. And, yeah, and like all these, and then and then you're fighting in a forest. You're fighting in a forest or a like, grass hey field, and it's all it's all shiny and everything. It's kind of scary down here. Let's go yeah. outside. <laughs> okay, fear, fear may work. Target enemy. These all target just one guy. An attack that does. And after this battle, I do have a couple questions from the forums. Awesome. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I'll take these. Hopefully there's some low-hanging fruit back Ooh, there. lob shot. There Goodbye, we go. double bow. All right. He tried to cheat with his double bow. Okay, I'm going to attack Cheaters this guy. Win. I'm going to save. This is cleave. I can attack multiple guys with that, so I'm going to save that. Take out the dark. I did not take out the darkling like I thought I would. That's okay. We'll, this guy will take him out. Chop his head off. That is true. Uh, on the left side, as far as I'm picking up, mm -hmm. um, that's who you know whose turn it is. Basically, like yeah, you get a good yep. you get a good idea. Yeah, so about in the chat. So you'll see uh, as um, once it gets implemented, you actually I don't know if it'll make it in for uh, beta three. It may, um, but you're gonna see like a little round one, round two, round three. Oh, to dice it up. Uh, ticker. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, header there so that way you know okay and that way when you have a unit that has high initiative you know he has haste cast on him and boots mm -hmm. of speed and stuff yeah you know he may be he may get to take three three moves in a in a round okay and that's gonna feel good or, yeah yeah and it's just just more information like chain being able to hook cooldowns and um charge ups two rounds uh, makes a lot more sense than trying to tie them to the the units, and it's just going to be so much cleaner. Oh man, I don't know, Ray. I'm excited. He's waiting. No, nope. his don't worry little about green it. bar. Listen, you got him. You got to hit him high. <laughs> you got to hit him low. Oh, I got to I go again. Is, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get him. I got to go again. Nothing wrong with that. Go. Here's our chance. Don't mess it up. Should I heal him? There's people watching us. Oh, plus two per shard. Oh, look at... Oh, my gosh. That's nice. Ooh. Are you seeing that? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, I look at the chat for one second, and he's like, you seeing that? I'm okay. like, I look at the chat. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, so the priest starts off with this uh, restore spell. Okay. It doesn't cost you any mana. So what? it costs me a sovereign cast, but I get two health plus two per shard. So that means I'll get a total of four. Wow, so you're sovereign, even though it can dive in and help in the battle, basically. Yeah. And change, change, obviously, the course of the... Yeah, so, wow. yep, so I had, uh, I'm down to two casts, but that's really awesome to be able to just... Yeah. Not even use mana. Jump in, save oh, the nice. day. How do you, um, can you restore those, those sovereign casts? Can you only do so there, many sovereign casts for battle? There are a few abilities. I think right now they're only in the tyrant tree, mm -hmm. but you can restore those. Okay. Uh, but it's it's pretty costly. Like you have to sac you basically have to sacrifice a unit. Okay. Um, but that also kind of makes for some interesting choices. Do I, you know, you can fill your army with a whole bunch of uh, expendable units, basically, and just sacrifice them, and then let your sovereign do all the killing. All right. He's gonna shoot me in the head. And then I'm going to run over here. Why did I run over there, Ray? I'm I have a ranged weapon. going to be honest, ridiculous. Scott. I don't know oh, why goodness. you <laughs> did that. I'm but, hey, hear. in the chat, what's great is there's a question, and we'll talk about okay, that. Okay, cool. Yeah, ignore my <laughs> We'll ignore move. that. The double bows are awesome. These are all facts. <laughs> okay, so in the chat, though, they'd mention, see, this is actually a great example. You got... Or you have a melee unit versus a ranged unit. Now, the question in the chat is, will that ranged unit continue to use their ranged weapon? They won't switch to an alternative weapon, correct? Uh, correct. Some range, uh, but what we could do is, at the very least, give them a ability. Like the, the ranger champion has a melee 
uh, ability okay. where if a guy gets close enough to him, he can use hidden dagger. Okay. Um, you know, for a one-time two x uh, uh, double damage hit. Okay. Uh, so in a pinch, we could add those type of things. So you don't want to get. I really like that actually. Have make sure that there are ranged units that uh, can uh, can deal with. Uh, units that come up right next to them and um, you know lead the charge. Yeah, I like that a lot. Boom, and that guy dies. Okay, cool. See, so I made it. No pun little... on the priest. You gotta have faith in the priest. I did. Priest I... Solid. <laughs> I'm walking in. I'm liking it. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, cool. Come on. Hurry up. There's a darkling. What's the darkling gonna do? I don't like just chill. <laughs> go, th go through my garbage like a darkling raccoon. does. That's cool. See, Darkling get... seemed kind of cool. I don't think I've used any of this mana. That's awesome. Yeah, you don't understand how excited I am about that no mana cost healing spell. That's so cool. Am I a nerd for saying that? I'd probably get beat up on the street if I said that. Scott, I don't think anyone guys, would. Guys, like, no, I if think... there were cool guys and there was me. I think everything would be funny. <laughs> I don't See, this is the part where I don't understand how Adam could ever make funny. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's see, train pioneer. I want to, I want to rush, rush the pioneer. Okay, and we have a question. Starting to get some of the questions from the forums. A user on uh, Steam actually brought up the question: if there will be any type of uh, co-op play in Sorcerer King. Unfortunately, no co-op player multiplayer. We're focusing 100% on the uh, single player experience. Right. Uh, from that, it, it's a rough, it's a tough design decision to make. Uh, but from that, we get the ability to have that dungeon master. Like I said, the backbone of the game. This guy that's just messing with the the player and tailoring the world to your exploits mm -hmm. and making sure the um, you know every act of the story is tailor-made and awesome for that single player well that's cool i definitely want to it's going to be worth it definitely want to see how saying. that single player turns out it's turned out pretty yeah. awesome so far okay 16 i'll take these guys out oh my champ leveled up Good. oh here's another great question from the steam forums user asking about shards and if they can be healed or restored once uh they are damaged or destroyed Yes, there are uh, there are some spells that will heal uh, shards, but once they're gone, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. So that so was kind you of a two parter. To, yeah. Okay. So you do have to, uh, you know, make that choice early. If there's a shard out there that's about to fall, you know, you got to save it or it's gone. Okay. So no right. bringing back shards. Though I could imagine that's what's really cool about the options for this um, the destiny's favor, this divine. Uh, resource that we have you could imagine a you know where you pray for more shards and because it is so it's it's kind of an unbalanced thing in an awesome way where you use up one of those resources and suddenly uh, three new shards are added to the map uh, right around you you know they come out of the ground or whatever but um you know giving the player really big meaty options uh to use that limited that limited resource, we can have a lot of fun with it. Like I said, Turtler's Dream. Imagine just being able to like make resources just out of thin air. It's yeah. So these guys are, uh, have taken over this house. Oh, they, they just got attacked. Apparently, I don't think they're supposed to stand on there. That's it's a bug. Nope. Like I said, in my story, they took it over, and you're saving the day. <laughs> it's a free quest. It's a non-quest quest. My new favorite quest, the non-quest quest. Here we go. Tron. It's not easy to save fast. <laughs> I'll take that guy out first. Oh my gosh. I'm just wrecking these darklings. You ever feel bad like when you're playing a game and it's ju you're just one one shotting these guys? What uh, if they had a family? Nope. You don't think that they have kids? Nope. Bad guys are bad guys. I'm telling you, once you have kids, these games are totally different. Bad you guys are bad guys. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I do not feel bad. I never feel bad. <laughs> never feel bad. Yep. Uh oh, he's ready to cast something. Oh, battle cry. Uh oh. He shouldn't have used that. Right? Table just turned. No, it didn't. Tables he are turned. Do you know what battle cry is? No. He just got. <laughs> okay. 
Battle cr- Battle Cry gets Battle Cry bumps all of your friendly units to the the front of the line. So okay. every all of his look at all of his buddies can take a turn. That's what I would have done. But there's no other buddies there. <laughs> yeah, I know Scott. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You got it, so much to learn. They could be invisible buddies. No, there's no no, no invisible. Come buddies on, nobody in, in the game. chat on my side. No invisible buddy. Okay, no, that's fine. Sorry guys. Nice man. <laughs> and we'll be back next week. And I'm moving back next week. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Uh, I still so thought it was a really cool spell. We got a pioneer coming. No, it is. I mean, if he actually used it wisely. Oh crap. If he used it wisely, it could have been uh, deadly, but. He used it dumbly. Is that a word? We're going to roll with it. Okay. Arcane shield. That sounds fun. There you go. There's an arcane shield for you. Oh, cool. He likes it. If we had facial animation, then we could actually have him smile. That's probably overkill. You playing Dragon Age? Not currently. Okay. I've heard good things. Okay. I wonder if... I know that they have facial animation. Mm -hmm. I wonder if their units smile when they get healed. Maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah. Like, add a little bit of character. Like, oh, thanks. That's good. Like, they give a thumbs up to to whoever healed them. (laughs) Jeez, Scott. (laughs) These are great ideas. (laughs) You are you are the idea man. These are why I'm not the producer. These we are... need thumbs up technology. I need more <laughs> questions answered. So back to the. I'm sorry. Back to the questions. Okay. Um. So for the beta roadmap, only goes to beta three currently. But it was mentioned on the forums that the other sovereigns will be pushed back. Um. Mm-hmm. They have been at, uh, let's see. And on the forums, it's been asked if there will be another uh, significant beta update beyond beta three. Yes. Are there any plans yeah, for that? there okay. will at the very least we'll have beta four where all the sovereigns will be unlocked, customization will be unlocked, and um, all the major features will be in at that point. Okay. Uh, so we will be on feature lockdown, um, you know, barring barring something cata- cataclysmic, catastrophic, barring something. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we would be on feature lock at that point. So beta four definitely, all the sovereigns. And, uh, yeah, lots of bug fixing, I'm sure. Cool. Pioneers. Is there, any the, um, let's see, is there anything else big you want to show off today before we uh, head out? Uh, no, I haven't had a chance to actually use the Divine Favor, so I'm sorry. I've talked it up. We can get to that next time, though. Spells. Are there any spells that use it? No. Yeah, next week. You know what? I'll save this game. Yep. And then we'll show it off next week. Yeah, I would be more than happy to be here, unless you don't let me. That's, no, you. of fine. course you can be here. <laughs> oh, thanks, Scott. <laughs> what a dream come I true. I don't think it's up to me. I don't think it's up to me. <laughs> but it's great. Cool. All right, well, thanks, everybody, it? for... Well, yeah, I, we pretty much reached our time for today. Oh, okay. Was well, there any other cool stuff you want to show off last minute? No. Wait, are you sure? Uh, I'm trying to... Th- I'm sorry. I. Is the new report screen? It's the new report screen. Have you seen us? That's pretty cool. Oh, but there's some stuff that Brad doesn't like, so it's not cool enough. Well, it reports your shards control. That looks really. That looks. Oh, awesome. it's definitely so, useful, information, useful information, but it's yeah. always a matter of uh, how do you display the information, and um, you know, it can. It ranges from spreadsheety to super awesome, mm-hmm. and we need to get closer to super awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, today we recap, uh, to recap real quick, we talked about the priest, uh, showed off some of the awesomeness, saved the day in an intense battle <laughs> that was seen here live. Um, other than that, though, I think that's pretty much it for today. We uh, see, tune in next Wednesday. Yes. It's, uh, next Wednesday, same same time, same channel. Um, and also, too, um, if you want to check it out, we have the uh, Gal Civ 3 stream will be this Friday. So You just couldn't help yourself. <laughs> Jeez. It's all Sorcerer King, baby. Yeah, I know. I know. No, but I'll be watching. I can't wait to see. What are you guys showing off? Just to plug it again, this Friday, uh, <laughs> it'll be Gelsif 3 with me. I'll actually be hosting that one, and I'll be bringing on people on the dev team there. So that will be awesome. Awesome. Can't yeah. wait. There's going to be, I don't want to talk too much about it, but spoilers, pew, pew. That's the hint. It's oh the only hint goodness. I've given. Yep. I've seen it in action. <laughs> it's pretty cool. These are my hints. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> 
<laughs> but all right, really. But on a very serious note, thank you for stopping by. We really appreciate everybody bringing their questions, yep. um, checking out the game, supporting us. Uh, we all appreciate it very greatly. So thanks again. All right, okay. bye. See you in the forums. Bye.